Kevin Mayo, The Amazing Beer Drinking Man. And today we're going to do another one from Six Point in Brooklyn. And it's their sweet action. This is a cream ale. Um, I had to look up a little bit on cream ales. I can remember growing up that we'd have Genesee Jenny Cream Ale. I can remember Utica Club Cream Ale, which is actually Sarnak now. FX Matt Brewery. They used to be the West End Brewery in Utica, New York. And I guess it's, a, a, it's an American style. It's a kind of a combination ale, lager. The way they described it on Beer Advocate is that it's brewed in the ale style, but they might use either some lager to mix in with it, to blend, or they might use lager yeast. So it's kind of a mixed style. It's supposed to be fairly light drinking and fairly, um, I would say, fairly light, very, maybe sessionable would be the word I'm looking for here. Um, Six Point does a really great job. They're big into the cans, which cans really are better than bottles. They keep the beer fresh or longer. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a crack. And go ahead and give it a pour. I actually don't own a uh, Pilsner glass, so we'll go ahead and use our Spunny Nose Imperial Pint. Um, as always, if you like the reviews, please subscribe. Uh, go to our website, leave some comments. We're always looking for comments. We'll be happy to respond. We're always looking for new friends. This is 5.2% uh, alcohol by volume, 34 IBUs, and they are calling it an ale. Again, Six Points kind of um, does their own thing. I've done the Righteous Ale, which I liked a lot. I've done the Resin, which is the double IPA, which was off the, off the wall, which is really, really good. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. It's pretty hazy. A fair amount of carbonation. As you can see, we're not getting a big head on it. I'm getting a small head. A, I would say a, a um, an orange color. Orange color would be the color on it. I'm actually looking at the date on this. Uh, best if before February 2012, February 14th. So this should have been drank by Valentine's Day. So I'm a month late. We'll go ahead and see what we got anyway. Let's go ahead and give it an aroma test. A little bit of malt, like a sweet malt, and actually more of a Northwest Pacific type hop aroma than I was expecting, especially on an ale, lager, cream ale. Um, I'm definitely getting the pine resin and um, the, the, the citrus, though sweeter citrus than, you know, not that grapefruit that I usually mention, I hear it and smell a lot of times. This is definitely more of a... a um, a cherry or something sweeter than that and you're definitely getting a malt too but not the heavy roasted malt but just a yeah like a nice bread type flavor or, or aroma let's go ahead and give it a try First off, I can see where the creamy ale comes from. It's very, very smooth, or almost creamy. A little bit of bitter aftertaste, not a lot. And again, smelling the, the hops, uh, uh, smelling the citrus and the hops earlier, I was expecting more bitter. Very little bitter. Almost like a honey aftertaste. So a little bit of a bready malty flavor up front and then I'm getting that sweet and sweet action is a good name for this I'm getting that sweet right in the middle of it um, and then actually even a sweet aftertaste like a little bit of a honey aftertaste and just a hint of the bitter in the back of the throat a lot going on in this um, usually you don't see cream ales coming out of craft breweries they're usually doing the, the double IPAs and the Imperial Stouts and This is a very interesting beer It's not easy to classify because it doesn't just fall into What we're doing not a lot of other people are doing it I tell you it's um, Somebody that's been drinking Budweiser. This might be a nice one to give them a little bit more flavor though So here try one of these see what a little beer with some flavor tastes like so it's smooth, it's 
got quite a bit of flavor going on. Like I said, a bready, malty flavor up front. Not heavy, heavy. Just a hint of it. A nice, sweet tangerine caramel in the middle. Ah, it's caramel probably not the right flavor because it's not that dark. I don't want to say there's really no dark flavors at all. But a nice sweet... And a nice honey sweet aftertaste, but not cloying. It's not a cloying sweetness. It's, so it's not like a fruit beer. I've got to come up with a number for it. I mean, I like it. I could drink a lot of it. It's very drinkable. Like I said earlier, it's at 5.2%. It's pretty sessionable. Um, I'm not loving it. Um, I'd say it's, it's a solid four, though. It's a good beer. I shouldn't say I'm not loving it. It's a solid beer. I think you'd really like it. It's definitely worth trying. It's definitely worth drinking. Um, probably just, if I probably had this on a hot summer day, I might like it more. And that might be it. It might just be the time of year that I'm trying it. But I would say give it a try. I think you'd like it. Until next time, this is the Amazing Beer Drinking Man.